Our seat. Okay. Next one is public hearing on the Traybrook Lighting District. Entertain a motion to uh, open the public hearing for the Traybrook Lighting District and waive the reading of the public notice. Move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Public hearing for the Traybrook Lighting District. Um, anyone that's in opposition to the formation of the Traybrook Lighting District? Hearing none, anyone who would like to speak in favor of the Tradebrook Lighting District? David Jacobson, no lights for Operatives, project sponsor, we are in favor. Okay. Anyone else that would like to speak in favor of the Lighting District? Andy? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm in favor of the Lighting District. Uh, do we have dark skies uh, provisions for the lights? I'm not familiar with the dark sky provision. Is uh, my assumption is you're going to go through National Grid and they'll map that no, out. Dark and... skies is um, so that the lights are all down facing, and I would ask, respectfully request the town to consider all new um, districts. To have uh, dark skies lighting. Basically, the light comes down, it does not go up. It's a it's a thing, it's not that hard to find. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Andy. Anyone else wish to speak in favor? Hearing none, entertain a motion to close the public hearing, go back into regular session. Move. Move. Move and second. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, we're back in regular session. Item number two is approval of the Traybrook Sanitary Sewer District. Entertain a motion to approve the Traybrook Sanitary Sewer District as laid out in the resolution before you. Move. Second. Any discussion? This again, just to repeat, this only impacts the people that are in that neighborhood. So they are the only ones that will be paying for this. Any other discussion? All those in favor of approving the Trainbrook Sanitary Sewer District? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number three is approval of the Trainbrook Drainage District according to the resolution before you. Entertain a motion to that effect. Moved. Second. Discussion? All those in favor of approval of the Trainbrook Drainage District? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number four is approval of the Trainbrook Lighting District. Entertain a motion to that effect. Moved. Second. Discussion? Was the vote when you were able to move on that? It was me. Yeah, uh, I would comment on Andy's uh, dark skies proposal. That's a requirement in, in a few states. Arizona, for one, because they have so many astronomy observatories. Uh, I don't know if that would apply here or not. We are surrounded by a lot of stray light applications, the shopping center and uh, Seneca Knowles and others. Uh, it's only used where, where uh, skylight is, is interfering with other operations. I, I don't know how it would benefit anybody here and it's very expensive. I'll Does check with Dave Hess and see if National Grip subscribes to that or not and what, but the uh, I think would be see involved it. with it. I think that, that it. normally comes up with commercial development, right? Yeah, uh, destiny, um, big shopping centers, billboards, uh, things like that. Billboards, right. uh, where there, there, where there's a possibility of spillover light, right? Uh, where you have commercial development next to residential development, that mm -hmm. comes up a lot, right? Um, you know, even a burned area yeah. can have spillover light, so that's where that usually comes up, not in a residential subdivision. Right, and it's very expensive. 
Okay. May I? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> there are lighting cutoffs. Zoning regulation where light cannot go or across a uh, property line. And if it's a commercial thing, um, it's not that expensive because basically the light has to travel. The light has to go so far. It can't be a light that does this. It's pretty simple in that context. And the town can regulate and enforce the regulations of stray lights. That's the key context, context to this. There will be uh, solar arrays and different things. They're gonna have, want to have lights and they're gonna be impinging on residential uh, having lights. So the fact of having a light that shows down and not sideways is not an expensive thing and the board, the town can regulate this. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna check the national grid and see what they have available to go from there. This, this would be addressed at the planning board. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I'll so check with Dave Pass and get the information, pass it on to Tony, so. Okay, any more discussion on formation of the Traybrook Lighting District? If not, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Is Darcy voting? Yes. You're hearing her? I can hear her. Oh, okay. So I, I can't hear her. Uh, item number five is resolution to approve the Traybrook HOA covenants. Uh, Kevin, you want to speak to that? Uh, yeah, um, I think we should pass a resolution that reaffirms and ratifies the uh, negative declaration that was issued by this board on June 4th, uh, 2019 and authorize and approve the covenants that as they have been reviewed and approved by uh, council. Okay. Entertain a motion to that effect. Moved. Second. Get all that, Lynn? Okay. Any discussion on that? My comment is I know during the planning process, we had talked about having the HOA be professionally managed. And so Kevin has assured me that that is in there. So I'm comfortable with that. Thank you. Uh, Mr. President, is the, has the plot? It's going to be gated at the yes, east side. Not going to be I'm not, Brandon, can you speak to that or Jack? So where the two subdivisions kind of come together with two separate HOAs, so to speak, where they call it traditional home lot, the, the CPF7 that's a de minimis HOA that's really just taking care of the green space and the detention areas. We're not at that section of the development yet. When we get to that section, which is basically phase two, which we hope to be hopefully by the end of this year, we will have that will be part of the call it full service HOA will be maintaining that fire break area with the snow removal because that's where the you know, call it townhome community starts. So it's kind of as we get there, it will be, obviously we'll have it in place, but the snow removal will be part of that, that other uh, HOA, okay. the, the other class. So the area. HOA is gonna handle the snow removal in that gated area? Correct. Okay. Correct. Perfect, thank you. Any other questions, discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number six is a resolution to approve the Trainbrook Developer Agreement and authorize the supervisor to execute the same. Uh, Kevin, you got any comments on this one? Yes. Uh, once again, um, I think we should reaffirm and ratify the negative declaration issued for Seeker on June 4th, 2019. Uh, we can approve and authorize the uh, supervisor to sign the agreement, which I haven't got, by the way. Okay. Uh, the agreement subject to uh, our receipt and acceptance of securities and insurance and uh, clearing out all the others. So I will be holding, I'll get the supervisor to sign it. I'll hold them in escrow 
until everything else is the insurance, the security, everything is clear. Um, that's it. You get all that, Lynn? Mm -hmm. Entertain a motion to that effect? Move. Second. Discussion? The developer agreement is who's responsible for what uh, we do this with all developers, the road paving and this and that and the other thing and grading and, and all that stuff. So, and, uh, any other comments, discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? One uh, Maintenance of the tannish ponds. It's HOA. Okay. Thank you. Any other comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item number seven is approval and acceptance of Tradebrook Securities. Uh, Kevin, you want we're to gonna, We're going to scratch that one, and uh, we just got them at 3.30 this afternoon. Okay. So I'll have uh, Nadine review those, and if everything's a uh, couple of it. Uh, we'll let you know. And we uh, want to pass it contingent upon attorney's approval. That's what we, no, we don't want to act okay. on the securities. Uh, that that's usually just done by counsel. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's it for trade broke then. Great. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Bye. Thank Have you. you got any applications for building permits into the yeah. post? Okay. Yeah, I already did that. Uh, that one with I think three others on the way. So okay. Casey, you. We talked to him on Monday, right when we first opened. So we're working with him. Okay, very good. Okay, guys. Have a good night. Stay safe. Okay. Um, item number eight approval of 284 agreement with the highway superintendent. You'll have that in front of you. It's a two sided document. Uh, outlines the work that uh, Doug plans to do on the town roads this year. And this is the agreement that allows the tells Doug that we will pay for the work that he's laid out, basically. Uh, Doug, you want to go through it quickly? Uh, sure. It's going to two inches of hot mix that. Uh, maintenance uh, chips. Country that was already done in kind of a um, uh, the reason for the um, starting to powerful, but they're more. It would be bad. The index of paying where it's so much fun. So, okay, any questions for Doug on this? Claude, it's Pat. Can you hear me? Go ahead. Um, I could only hear about every fifth word, so I don't know if the same thing is what's getting picked up for anybody looking at it on Facebook or watching it or even afterwards, but you couldn't hear Doug at all. So I don't know if Claude wants to repeat the streets or what. You want to come up here and sit where Wendy was? Sure. I mean, I knew what they were just from having the list, but I a copy of it. But publicly, nobody would know. So real quickly, uh, yes, this year, we will be uh, uh, milling out two inches and putting back two inches of hot mix asphalt on Village Boulevard South from just past the circle all the way to uh, Route 48 by the bank. Uh, both lanes uh, that's being done this year um, just there's some spots that have uh, bad potholing in there other spots aren't all that bad but uh, it's such a heavily trafficked road that we don't take care of it 
while it's still savable, it'll be a big problem down the road. The price index this year is very uh, in a good spot for us to take advantage of putting some tonnage down. Uh, then we're going to be fiber micro paving, which is a surface treatment covering um, several places that have already been crack sealed, all of Sun Metals, and the I call it the newer section of Harbor Heights. Um, and then uh, chip sealed surface treatment is being done on a lot of our uh, more country rural roads um, in, I call it the uh, south, west, southeast corner of the town. Um, and then a bunch of different crack fill and seal uh, going in some of the roads just to help tie them over until we can get a chance to get to them. And that's it. Okay. okay, entertain a motion to approve the 284 agreement with the highway superintendent as stated. Second. Any discussion? What percentage of the highway roads is this? Oh boy, I, I, I'd have to do some math, but. Oh, I, I don't want a big not, analysis. I not much. I mean, we, we're about. For about 45 miles, give or take, that we own. Mm -hmm. um, the one section is one mile. One out of 10%. Then. Oh, heavens no. Where our budget doesn't even come close. It'd be nice if we could do 10%. It would be wonderful. But <laughs> yeah. We are never, we might be able to surface street, just oil stone for that much, but mm -hmm. uh, even that would be close. Well, as long as we have the high spots here. Well, we're uh, we're doing good with it. Uh, we need to, that's why we wanted to get this hot mix taken care of this year with the index being as low as it is. I think it's behooves us to do it now. Oh yeah. Otherwise, that would be a two or three year project. Um, mm -hmm. So let's take advantage of it. But uh, we got to keep looking forward. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, I just have a couple comments. So the counselors have to sign this. I have it here. So before you leave, you got to sign it on both sides. Also. Um, we're looking to get probably some cuts to the CHIPS funding. And so Doug has pared back his work this year to adjust for what we think may not be coming from the, from the state. So it, uh, uh, we've made those adjustments so it doesn't impact other areas of Doug's budget to make up for it. So um, unfortunately this thing is, it, there's gonna be a lot of cuts at all levels of government. So uh, and that's one of them is roads. Okay, any other discussion? All those in favor of approval of the 284 agreement? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number nine, received a, a call and then a follow-up email from Jack Gardner um, on Sorrow Hill Road, or Connors Road actually, uh, requesting a speed limit reduction uh, from Con on, on Connors Road from Canton Street to Route 31. I'll read it here. I'm asking that the stretch of Connors Road and Ballsville between Canton Street and Route 31 be considered for a speed limit of 45 miles an hour. In the last three years, traffic has greatly increased and subsequently so has the speed of many vehicles. The increase in motorcycles, sports cars, high speed traffic causes an unsafe situation for the increased bicycle and pedestrian traffic. Please consider my request at your next board meeting respectfully, Jack Connor or Jack Gardner, 2209 Connors Road. So that's why this is on the agenda tonight. So I'd entertain a motion to send this on to New York State DOT for review. Um, they will tell us if they feel it's appropriate to uh, uh, do a speed reduction in that area. Entertain a motion to that effect? Move. Second. Discussion? This is the standard procedure you have to go through for, for submitting these. Um, no other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Item number 10 is approved for the supervisor to utilize New York State OGS mini bid system to procure a new truck for buildings and grounds department and approval to execute all documents for purchase of said vehicle cost to be covered by the insurance recovery and from buildings and grounds reserve, well, equipment reserve fund. Uh, entertain a motion to that effect? Yes, and not to exceed 
there are twenty thousand dollars from the uh, buildings and grounds uh, equipment reserve fund. Any motion to that effect? Vote. Second. We had uh, the truck. This is going to replace was involved in an accident about two weeks ago. The truck is total. Uh, wasn't the employee's fault. Uh, we're going to get $11,041 in insurance recovery. It was a 2008 Ford F-250. Um, so we, we're going to put about $20,000 with that out of the equipment reserve fund and buy a new vehicle off the state contract uh, process system. So uh, any other discussion? How long does it take to actually get the vehicle? Probably at least 90 days after we order it. it takes a couple of weeks for the mini bid, and then uh, once we award it, it'll probably be at least 90 days. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I have a penciled in number 11. It's approval of a fence waiver for 102 Gulf Side. This is a type two action under SECRA. Entertain a motion to approve the fence waiver. Second. Second. Jason has looked at this and uh, this backs up the Route 690. All the drainage uh, runs off to the 690 uh, New York State DOT drainage facilities along 690. Uh, none of the water enters our drainage system. So uh, with that, any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? And carries. Councilor Committee reports and comments. MF. This Thursday at 3 o'clock, Howard and I will be meeting with Rich and Dino from the attorney's office to go over the changes that the attorneys are suggesting for the draft property maintenance law. And that's it. Okay, Wendy? Nothing. Howard? Nothing. Pat, do you have anything? No, I don't. Thank you. Darcy, do you have anything? Nope. Thanks. Okay. Uh, highway supervisor? Uh, nothing this evening. Okay. I've got just one comment. We opened with 50% staff here at Town Hall yesterday. Um, Lynn had about 20 people come in. Um, in the afternoon, they did one passport. Um, it was quite busy for the first day. Today was a little less, but uh, uh, we even met some people outside uh, for codes issues. And today, uh, one person had a question on STAR, and uh, the assessment clerk went outside and met with them, so they didn't even have to come in the building. Uh, the clerk's office is using a window that's under the canopy on the front of the building uh, that helps eliminate people having to come in the building. They, they can stand under the canopy um, so you don't get wet under there because of the canopy and they can transact their business without even coming in the building. So that, that is advantageous as well. So uh, the employees need to be commended for their adaptability and flexibility throughout this whole thing since uh, March 17th or whatever day it took off. and. Uh, they've been good all the way through the process, so I want to commend the employees. Uh, right from the guys that do the cleaning every day, right to every person in every office. They, they've been really good throughout this whole thing. So, to, uh, citizens' comments, anyone wish to address the board? Andy. Please. I would like to uh, commend the town for all the efforts they've done uh, uh, to help the state function. Because I was here in last week of January, yeah. the first week of February. This is what happens. And it's very important that we all take uh, cognizance, thoughtfulness, about what's happened because well, there's a lot of unknowns and it's been very, very difficult. And I just want to commend the town board on the efforts they uh, continued to do the town business. 
Thank you. Thank you. Claude, could I ask something of you? Yes. Um, I know I spoke with you earlier, but it might help to reiterate it to the public that we had alerts today that as of June 29th, the governor said that uh, some day camps, summer day camps could open. Um, and I know we, along with many, many other towns are not. And I just wondered if you could sort of address it a little bit. Yeah, each, each town or city or county park or whatever, they're all different. Um, they may very well be able to conduct these uh, day camps and do the social distancing. Our facilities aren't large enough to allow that. Um, when, when you look at what goes on in those, I think uh, those that are open, you're going to see uh, a lot of the activities eliminated and the activities are going to be such that they can social distance and my guess is the these that are going to be open are not going to be as much fun as they have been in past years. Uh, it, it's just uh, not feasible on the social distancing and the, wearing the mask and everything else. It, it's uh, I, I think you'll see uh, quite a few reductions in the number of people uh, attending those. They had the uh, Village of North Syracuse Parks and Rec director on the news tonight. I happened to catch that. She normally has about 165 people. She said the maximum she probably expects would be 75. So uh, they're even planning for a lot less people to be involved. Um, some probably out of fear of the, the virus. Uh, others, uh, maybe they realize that the day camp's not going to be as much fun uh, due to the, the virus and the, the precautions that have to be taken. So it's uh, here we made the decision based on our facilities and our resources. A lot of these places are a lot bigger than we are. Um, they have a lot more resources than we do and uh, their facilities are bigger so they, they could do it. Uh, under the CDC guidelines, we just simply could not do it with our facilities. So, Could you uh, mention some of the other towns that are doing the same as we are and not being able to hold things? Clay is closed, DeWitt is closed, Van Buren's closed. Lysander Park isn't doing anything as far as I know, based on watching their meeting the other night. Um, Skinny Atlas is closed, their summertime stuff. Camillus was gonna wait and see before they made a decision, but I know that their splash pad, as well as Lysander's splash pad is closed. Um, Salina was waiting on their pools for some guidance, but uh, I don't know what's gonna happen with that. that. Uh, we do a, a weekly conference call with supervisors that want to chime in, and uh, that's how we stay abreast of what the other towns are doing. But there's several that are, are have closed and canceled their day camps and their playground programs for the summer. Um, and the main thing is the social distancing. Uh, they just, just can't achieve it. So. Um, okay, thank you. Okay. Um, citizens comments recovered. Jason is out tonight. Kevin, you got anything? No, I don't, except I need some stuff from you right. and from the town clerk. Right. Lynn, you got anything? Noted. We will make sure every door is locked. I unlocked it so you guys can get in the building, but it's obvious we can't do that. Um, entertain a motion to adjourn to June 16th at 7 p.m. Moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Howard. Mm -hmm.